Okay, control of water in the body. Um, if we're going to be very scientific, we could call it osmoregulation. You won't need to remember that name. There we go, we've got it anyway. Uh, the kidneys are the main organs involved here. Here's a kidney, a model of a kidney. Um, essentially what's going to happen is, in this part, the outside part of the kidney, the blood will be filtered. And any products that aren't needed, whether it's waste products or excess things like water or salts, will go into this part here, they're called collecting tubes or collecting ducts. And then this goes off down to the bladder where we will um, excrete or remove those waste products from our body, what we call urine. Um, what does the kidney filter? Well, it filters out of the blood, removes from the blood excess water, so if there's too much water in your body, that's where it'll get rid of it. Excess salts, and it filters out and cleans out the urea from the body. Urea is a toxic substance made in your body. Um, it's actually broken down proteins, broken down amino acids is what it's made of. Quite toxic, needs to be removed, and your kidneys will do that. How does it work all this? Well, an area of the brain, which have come across before, called the hypothalamus, detects the amount of water in the blood plasma. Now, if you remember, blood is made up of several components, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and this stuff, plasma. It's the liquidy part of your blood. So receptor cells in the hypothalamus are detecting um, how much water is in the blood plasma. Now, as a response to that, a gland called your pituitary gland, which is attached to the brain, uh, it's an effector, it's a gland, can release more or less of a substance called ADH. So this is released from the pituitary in response to water levels. What does it do? Well, if you start releasing more ADH into your blood, and this is a chemical which is a hormone carried in the blood, the effect on the kidneys is that you will essentially stop producing as much urine as before. So you will produce in your urine a lower volume and it will be more concentrated. Why is it more concentrated? There's less water in it. If your body starts to produce, the pituitary starts to produce less ADH, we get the opposite case. We get more urine produced. And it is less concentrated or more dilute. Now it's probably easier to show you this. That would be the urine if we produced lots of ADH. It's concentrated, it's a darker colour and there's not as much of it. When we're producing less ADH, we make more urine and it's dilute. And we can tell it's dilute because it's a paler colour. There's more water in there in other words. What does the hormone ADH actually do? Um, it makes an area of the kidneys called the kidney tubules and although you don't need to remember um, the structure of the kidney uh, if you want to look these kidney tubules up you can and it makes them more permeable to water in other words by releasing ADH these tubules become more permeable to water and they start to absorb more water back into the blood. So that's what ADH is physically doing inside of the kidney. We can affect how much ADH is produced by certain drugs. Alcohol, for example, um, will stop you producing ADH. Or certainly reduce it. As a result, if you're not producing as much ADH, more urine and more dilute. In other words, alcohol, um, we tend to associate with going to the toilet more. Other drugs, and specifically ecstasy, will increase 
ADH production. As a result, if you're getting more ADH produced, you would get the more concentrated urine and you would tend to hold on to water. This is one of the um, potential dangers of ecstasy. The body uh, retains too much water, which can be as dangerous as losing too much water. One last point on this, which is about salt. Often the question will come not in terms of um, somebody's drinking lots of water or somebody's lost lots of water. Very often it will be talking about salt. If there is an increase in salt in the blood plasma, that is the same as saying we're going to produce more ADH. Why? Well, if there's salt in the blood plasma, um, it tends to pull water out from the cells, so it can dehydrate the cells. Remember, dehydration is really about cells losing water, and that becomes a problem. So the body will try to retain water by producing more ADH, so less water is lost in the urine. The only other place really that we would lose water, or the major place we would lose water, apart from your urine, is in sweat. We do lose some in breathing, we lose a tiny amounts in tears as well. Um, but that's not something really that the body can easily control. Certainly the amount of urine produced uh, is the main way to control how much water is lost from the body.